All right, guys, so now we're gonna go for the torso rotation test, okay? So what we're really looking for here is can we disassociate the upper torso from the lower trunk or the pelvis, okay? So what we're gonna have the athlete do is go into that athletic position or that five arm stance, both arms onto the shoulder right there, knees slightly bent, and we want to see mobility just from the upper portion right through here. So they're going to rotate side to side through, okay? They're gonna keep their, their, their eyes straight down, keep a quiet neck, because we wanna look at mobility from the neck with this as well. We're also looking, is the pelvis stable or is it moving, okay? Same thing from this position. Is a motion coming straight from the upper torso right through here, or is there any movement coming from the pelvic area? Okay, if you want to dive a little deeper into it to see if it's a true stability or mobility restriction or issue, we're going to actually stabilize the pelvis. Okay, so knee slightly bent again. I'm going to hold the pelvis right through here and she's going to rotate side to side right through there. Okay, good, just like that. So if when I stabilize the pelvis, she gets more mobility, then it's a stability issue from the pelvis. Right? If I stabilize the pelvis and she gets the same mobility, right, then it's actually a mobility restriction. Okay? Stay tuned for interventions on how to improve thoracic rotation or torso rotation.